It's 35-year-old Pat Cassily, the referee, getting the match underway. Mead into a first attack here. It's John McDermott. They won the toss, played with the breeze in the first 35 minutes. Chance here for Jody Devine to take a point in the very first attack. And that after 15 seconds. Happily recovered from the earlier injury, fouled by PJ Gillick. Desi Farrell now. In on the end line, marshalled there by Cormac Murphy, brushed aside, however. Inside beautifully, Galvin over the bar, boxed over the bar by Mick Galvin. Desi Farrell kicks it, where's it going? It's going straight between the posts. A wonderful kick by the man from Nafiana, who's also a very accomplished hockey player. Five points to two, Dublin lead. Dublin are harassing and they're putting pressure on the meat players all the time. And also, it seems to me, playing better as a unit. They've got a togetherness. As we watch Charlie Redmond for once going to top of the right, nicely pumped inside. Sherlock's down on it. Here it comes to Jim Gavin. And Gavin fists it and Conor Martin watches it set over the bar. Gavin's first point. He'll be delighted with that. There's a 13-meter penalty that's been used about the third time in this match. Into space, here's Desi Fowler. Can he get away from Paul McMurphy? Murphy puts out the left leg, but it's Desi Fowler in his way. A player down inside, Farrell kicking, and that's bounced off the cross by Wilson over the bar. A second point for Desi Fowler. Free kick to Dublin. It's been their half. They lead by four points. And the marking is wretched again as Paul Beelan kicks it. Well, it was a really ambitious one. Two, two meet defenders to Jason Sherlock who's finishing, left a lot to be desired. But it's bounced down here, it may yet cause a problem or two. Martin O'Connell, it comes back here to Sherlock, and this time he pops it over the bar. Good point by Jason Sherlock. The breaking ball favouring Paul Curran. This is a great run forward. He can take a point here. And he does so. Paul Curran. The breaking ball favoured him. He ran a good 20 metres and made a fine score in response to the meet point just a few seconds ago. Will be part of the meet team some time ago, but it's in. Here's a great chance and a goal. Evan Kelly from Grumry, the goal scorer. In the seventh minute of the second half, the sides are all tied up. What do we say about a goal from Meade? Bang on cue. Jody Devine wants to get the pass outside. Does so in the end to Brendan Riley. Riley trying to take it by Paul Curran. Now Graham Geraghty. There's a point here. It's high. Is it accurate enough? Yes, it is. Graham Geraghty's kick producing a point. And it's Meade who go in front. Jody Devine trying to get away from Paul Curran. Curran wins that individual battle, held back there by Colin Brady. Free kick to Dublin, take it smartly, quickly. On to Paul Clark. Clark looking up at the target. Trying to sum up his options, going for the score. It was the right thing to do between the posts. Paul Clark's first point. And each and every one of the Dublin half forwards has now scored. Charlie Redmond racing away from the challenge there of Ender McManus. Charlie, head down, full of commitment, knowing what he's about to do, kicking the point. That's a wonderful score, a really good individual point by Charlie Redmond. Dublin leading by two points. Inside by Desi Farrell to Vinnie Murphy once again, really wants to make an impact. Paul Curran holding it up into Charlie Redmond. Redmond's ambitious kick across, it's a great ball across, and it's over the bar by Paul Clark. The quality of the pass in there, and Dublin might well have had a goal. They certainly have the space. Clark, second point, taken down by a confident Paddy Moran. Spills loose, but he regains composure and possession. Graham Garrity watches it go over his head. On it goes to Vinnie Murphy. There's space inside, it's one against one, Jason Sherlock against Colin Coyle. Sherlock really half hit that one, but it's Paul Clark who's in fisting. Oh. And it's a goal! It's a goal for Dublin! Paul Clark, the goal scorer! In the 
24th minute of the second half, Dublin suddenly opened up a six-point lead. There was so much space in front of goal. It was between Sherlock and Coyle. And when Sherlock hit it, it came down. But watch for Paul Clark responding quickly. There he was, in there challenging, and he fists it into the back of the net. John O'Leary's kick out. Dublin were winning the exchanges in the first half at midfield, and this time with a broken ball, they're in very quickly again to profit through Paul Cullen. Will he pop it over the bar? He's trying to, and he's done it. A wonderful kick again by Paul Cullen. Runs on towards Desi Farrell. Jersey well and truly tested by Graham Geraghty, but this is a great spell here. Desi Farrell, two points so far, looking for another one. And that's straight over the bar. Almost inside the last minute, Garrity gives it to Paul Beelan. And Dublin on their way to the All-Ireland semi-final. And Jason Sherlock, one of their stars. This time he has it right. And this time he has his second point.